Ooh, big error. Ouch, that's bad. That's worse than my save than mine. Yeah, I think it was Skype being. Uh, I think it was Skype hogging bandwidth. Right, I won't be looking at any other. Um, speed test because I, I don't need to know that they're faster than mine. I know they are. But the only one that matters is mine as I'm the one streaming. Yeah, they did not fix this bug. If someone could, like, um, report out on the forums, that would be great. I'd appreciate that. It's fixed on 12.22. Well, don't worry about it. Hello? Oh. Hello, but can you hear me? You should be able to hear me. You have to unmute at the bottom left. There you go. Okay, I got you now. I yeah. got you now. Yes. You you learned Discord. No, but that's the thing is I couldn't hear him. It was like I knew he was there, but I couldn't hear him. So I knew I wasn't somehow connected. But I see now that you were in... The streaming voice, the streaming voice channel yeah. and I was in general. general. Yeah, then I saw you you moved to streaming and back to general. I was like, well I'll just follow you to general. Gotcha. Okay. I get it now. I get it now. Yeah. I'm spoiled by Skype. I like having that join button, you know. <laughs> yeah, I prefer Skype. This Discord thing is there's there's too much Skype's just does what it needs to do. Well, I like this. I really do. Because the whole push to talk, for me, is great. I don't have to worry about background noise or anything. Which So I love that part of it. 
How do you push to talk? Because I'm on. I mean, for you, you would need to because you're you're streaming. Yeah, um, yeah, but how how are you push to talking? I don't see that as an option. Um, it's in the settings. Uh, oh, hang right. on, let me find it. Yeah, it's on user. It's on um, your user settings, and then you go to voice, and there's a push to talk thing. Right. Wow. Hey, Psycho Killer. Hey, Psycho Killer. Long time no see. Welcome back. Is this the same map as the last map? There's only ever been one. This one. Hello. Hello. Hey, man. Hello. Hey, demon. Hey, demon. How's everyone? I'm doing good. How are you, Demon? Yeah, we're good. I think it's hilarious you hopped into my channel instead of yours, Will. Where's well, the Factorio Engineers, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one oh, I yeah, joined yeah. the Factorio Engineers. Catchable. If I'd have used another one, I'd have had to have put it to join it. Whereas this one, we're already both in it, and I had 30 people waiting. Poor Zedith. Sorry. Yeah, it sucks, dude. Well, I'm sure I miss all the good stuff while I'm at work. Yeah, maybe. I doubt that. What you, you, streams you, miss. you you're telling me that nothing happens on Factorio Twitch between 1 p.m. and 10 p.m. UK time? Now, I know that Razington streams. I'm yet to be able to German be in his humans, stream for more than like a minute or so. Shit down of Bob's ones, and I don't get to yell at them that they're doing it all wrong. That makes me sad. Yep. It's fun going into a German stream yelling at them they're doing it all wrong when they're playing Bob's mods and leaving. Yeah, this is what we. Oh, we're back to rocket control units now. All of a sudden, low density structures are fine. So, the hold up on the processing units is. interestingly, red circuits. I'm sure it's lost in translation, though. Yeah. <laughs> right, time to stop making modules again, I think, and redirect once again everything to. Um, the, the other stuff. The rocket -y stuff. Where's that copper going? Oh, low density structures are that back up pretty soon. Discord makes funny noises. You, you should be able to turn those off in the seconds. Okay. I shall learn how to Discord. Sorry, I disconnected and reconnected. That's okay. Yeah, OBS is having a much better time now.
Is Brit still in here? I don't hear her. She... Yeah, I'm still here. Hey, Will, mm -hmm. you have 90, as of when I had the save, which was when you had launched 808 rockets, you had 94,307 belts. How many, sorry? Can you say that again? Can you say that again? 90, 90, 95,307. Wow. I had not enough. I'm just going to sit there and think about that for a minute. Because I just loaded the base back up again without with, with the belt in there and did the second one that Chewy mm -hmm. posted that took the belt and the stuff off of it, and it still dropped my FPS down to 17 instead of, you know, raising it above 22. So I still don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm sure someone in chat's running the maps on how much materials you spent on all of those belts. Mm-hmm. Well, for one blue belt, it's 21 iron plate, 21.5. To the calculator. Was it 95,000, give or take, times 21.5? Ninety five three oh seven times twenty one point five eh. Uh that's a big number. That's uh two million two and a half million iron on belt. Jeez. Out is uh, winning prisms just pointed out you've got 69,000 fusion. Yes, what the hell's wrong with you? I don't know, it's not enough, is it? Nope. I don't even want to think about how much copper I poured into production modules, though. <laughs> yeah, don't. it's best not to look. Someone done the uh, numbers for me because I was putting them into um mining um, at like I think it was about 900 modules put into them so I'm running the figures but I was like no I don't want to see that no have you, has anyone calculated the payback time of a level 3 productivity module they have the 7 hours I think <laughs> yeah it's a long time 7 hours Hmm. Something's very, very wrong. The iron stations are empty. And there's no trains. Well, seven hours is nothing when you have over 500 hours on your map. Uh-oh. I said, uh-oh. We are meant to say increase the crash counter? No, not yet. I, I, I'll get it typed in ready though. Oh dear. <laughs> it's always promising, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's a jam that I see. Nice. Yep. Did you see yesterday's the longest ever? Yes, I was here for that. Mm hmm. That, that was fun. Uh, lurking, I think.
Ah, the problem seems to exist at Iron South 3. Trinkle flavored. <laughs> that was quite random. If it can't be funny, be random, I guess. Yeah, we'll go for that. I suppose it works. Why is that train stopped? I'm assuming it's jammed. No, it's on the inbound. Yeah, it's heading in stop to a empty station. I think it's a train that you never started again. Yeah. But all iron trains are on. You he, he must be a rogue train. Uh, but I, I did think about um, you saving it when you got back to the base, then running the command, but I assumed that you would just do that, so I didn't say it. It might be out of fuel. It could be out of fuel. It's happened before. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I just didn't think we'd have to run this many commands, so that's why I didn't do it before. I figured I'd run it, get back to base, and be like, hey, it's fixed, but no. But yeah. Um, and no, if y'all were talking about me, no, the train's not out of fuel. It's full. It probably isn't Psycho Killer. If it is, it would have been stopped because I have whitewashed all, st stopped all trains using Fat Controller one uh, many times now, and it would have never been restarted. Yeah, I remember yesterday. I think. You sent a, you left a PAX train and left it running. Did you ever find that out again? Yeah, well, all three are back at the PAX station. There's one that's been missing for a few weeks now. I have no idea where it is. Well, that's to be expected. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll find it at some point in the future. But yeah, the three that I know that I should have are all here. I think I left him running, heading to the base, he was just stuck in traffic. So once it cleared, he would have found his way home. Oh, we went in the back of the jam. First train, second train, and we're walking from here. I don't suppose you were smart enough to pick up your pack train? No, I'll just leave him running. And that's yeah. how you lose pack strings, though. No, but because he's going to the station I'm going to. So here, catch up with me once this lock clear. I have deja vu. I did this yesterday. What am I looking at, Zedith? I don't understand. Loading picture. You, you want to deliver coal directly to each pair of boilers? Is that what we're saying? 
I don't even know if that's feasible. Because they only load Colt with five items, not a full stack, so you'd have to have a very minimal downtime between trains there. Yeah. Plus, you'd have to have one hell of a oh. train network. Or do you um, insert into the carriage and use that as a distribution? So you, you could have two fast inserters pulling onto that and cap it to like know, one stack in each one. I'm still not sure if that would work or not. Does this need to be scienced? Well, it's zone of side entity for science. Sounds, like. sounds I'm good. I'm sure inserters take up more uh, CPU than belts, though. So it, having a chain of inserters to train wagons would be a bad idea. But isn't it? In, aren't inserters only at their worst when pulling from a belt because they have to look ahead? When moving from box or train or something, they're f they're not as bad as they would be when pulling from a belt. Or have I misunderstood what Zenith was saying the other day? Because he was like, insert, well, you know, less inserters pulling from belts. Um, I think Brett died. No, I'm still here. Uh, as in, in the game. Because you know exactly where I was spawned on the map. Yep. Well, no, I used the uh, teleport command because the. FPS was so low that it was taking me forever to get from wherever I s opened the game from all the way back to base. So I used the teleport to get me right back to the base. Which, yeah, no, exa I I spawned, I teleported right in the middle of a um, a chemical plant and couldn't move, so I had to remove it in order to get out. <laughs> <laughs> a chemical. Oh. You're still looking at like seven belts versus two inserters for that chain to work, and I'm thinking that's going to wash out in favor of the belts. I'm going to have to find the spawn point in a minute. I'm just mu um, so I'm curious to know where it is. I can tell you, because um, I have it, I'm like right here, buy it. It's um... It's where you go when you die. Uh, I can use Evo GUI to find it, the exact location. It's right below your um, silos, oh. where the batteries are on the far right side, second row down. Uh, right so I appreciate your effort, but I'm betting still that bots are better than that method. Uh, I solved the um, the train thing, if you didn't see mad. A train had just got confused. Yeah, I was sent to the wrong station, I think, that's what I saw. Yeah, he was no pathing, he was trying to get to the unload or something when he was committed to the outpost. So I just told him to go to the outpost and he was like, okay. These rules are annoying where they keep clearing, you have to reset them every time. This poor outpost is about to get walloped because all the trains are about to come here.
Hmm. I just refreshed Factorio to see who was streaming, and everybody's gone. There was like seven people streaming out there. Why does everyone go to sleep? Hopefully it's because they came here to see you. <laughs> Uh, I popped into a stream the other night. It was w way late. You know, I'm normally asleep. And there was two guys playing multiplayer. And the streamer didn't know me, but his multiplayer person did. And he was on the call. And I put in the usual, you know, you're doing it all wrong. And the streamer was like, oh, hello, Colonel Will. Not knowing me. And the other guy was like, Colonel Will? Roots, Colonel Will? And I was like, well, Root doesn't actually owe me, but yes, I'm Root's Colonel Will. <laughs> yeah, I've never had someone call me Root's Madzuri or <laughs> Colonel Will's Madzuri. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, y yes, I know what you're saying. Yes, what, you, what you're saying is right, but, you know, he doesn't actually own me. He meant, like, the Am I the will that's played with Root and Break the Game is what he meant, but it's not how it came out. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Yeah, there you go. Wormus has said it. Thanks, Wormus. I appreciate your efforts. <laughs> hey, Britt, have you, you, when you visit another stream, you might get that one day. Mbit B? Will's Mbit B? Oh, right, yeah, catch was oh, catch was just said it. <laughs> yep. That would be quite funny, actually. Well, if I had any underground belt, I would replace them with... Well, sorry. Other way around. If I had belt, I would replace them with underground belt. But I don't have belt, so... yeah. And Cat Wolf thought you love me as well. You can't just love Brit. I love anyone that feeds me, so neither one of you have done that, just saying. <laughs> what about any what do you um how do you feel about anyone that gives you beer? Uh plus one? I've I've got an idea that might save Brit some time here. Um, Commander King, you've got a command that removes all entities from the game, just whitewash it back as if it was a clean, st you know, every belt, factory, insert, track, the lot. Actually, track. Railway track. What happens if you remove all the train line? Because every time I take up a piece, the game jumps. I I can probably demonstrate if I just put down some random track. Yeah, I can. F I don't know if you can see that, but I can feel it. There's a delay. It's and probably a really bad idea because you try to remove a track under a train, it gives you an error. It's okay. Brit's computer may blow up. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Can you remove all trains first? 
run a command that removes all trains and wagons then pull up all the track because if it the B four or five commands, you have to remove all the locomotives, all the cargo wagons, and all the farls, and then all of the tracks. For and fuel tankers too, whatever those are called. Yeah, for science. This poor little line outpost. These miners are doing their best. These 262s are just too hungry. Can't skip the station, Psycho Killer. This main line isn't complete. It stops here at the moment. It hasn't met up with another one. And they'd all know pathing error of me to hell. They have to come to the station now. What I can do though is uh, get them moving without waiting for their 15 seconds. That actually reminds me of a, a really good idea. Just remove all the stations and all the trains shut down. But then if you turn the trains on, they'll probably give you all passing errors, because they, you know, can't find a pass. To any of their stations. And why would you want to shut all the trains down? Do it that way, why don't you just turn them all off? With Fat Controller, if you want them all to stop. Yeah, well, actually, if you remove the station, they won't pass anywhere. But if the, you turn st If the station's there, that's when it can't pass through it, but if the station's not there, it just won't pass anywhere. Yeah, it just fails it and skips it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm confused. And there's no, no valid stations. Sorry. It's okay, just start again. I think I missed something. If there's no valid stations at all anywhere, mm -hmm. then it just shuts down. Yeah. It just says no path, period. But how would that help? It doesn't try to path because the stations don't exist. But if you turn the train off, it's not pathing. It's just sat there. Isn't yeah, it the, it's same the same thing? Effect, but you can do it globally with one command. I can do it in, you know, clicking through. Yeah, 160 clicks and I'll be done. That's not really helping your case here. <laughs> I like clicking through trains, okay? Reminds me how many I have. Why don't I send any trains empty to unloading? Go get some coal from somewhere. It might be more effective to remove all the uh, inserters, smart and fast, to be more specific. <laughs> Commander King's deleted himself. 
There was a bug where that happened for a while. If you died in one of the versions, you turned into a ghost and entered creative mode. Do you know how much I exploited that bug with my flatmate? We've played multiplayer for a few times, just on LAN off stream. And his job, while I got the base up and running, was to go to the nearest biter nest, get killed. He'd then have 10 seconds in creative mode to explore as much as he could. He'd then respawn, repeat the process, but go in a slightly different direction this time. And he'd work his way around 360 degrees to do the early exploration. Instead of waiting for a radar. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He, he, That's he, glorious. That's he, awesome. He was so pleased with himself. <laughs> and then it turned into an OCD thing because it was... Um, if, if one time he didn't go quite far enough because he was too slow, it would make a mess in the map. You know what I mean? Because he would, didn't quite get out far enough. So you have to repeat that direction again. And when I told, when I saw it was fixed on the bug report on the releases, he was so upset because <laughs> he didn't have a job anymore. So I gave him a new job. He had to do all the early game mining, which he then automated by putting something heavy on his right mouse button, so that he would just stand there mining. That's is interesting, Death, but I'm thinking maybe you might need more uh, long inserters for it to sustain a really huge chain. And I'm still not convinced that the inserters going from wagon to wagon is less CPU intensive than running pellets. Yeah, feel free to science that, if you will. If we could figure out how to science that without the extra data that the devs have. You'd also have to run the boilers at f uh, a full load as well, would you not? To check that they do actually, it does receive enough coal to keep it running over a large scale. You'd actually, the only way I can think of doing it is to build the thing in full. And those are all pointed up too, so that's the slowest uh, inserter speed. It'd be more effective to have them pointed down. So wait, inserters prefer to go south rather than go yes. north. Go, going north, I dislike inserters. Me, me, <laughs> me and inserters just fell out. That's such a strange thing that I'm glad I science the crap out of. How's it work with East West? East West is perfectly fine. They work average, normal, whatever. Uh, South, in the long run, works out the same as East West, but like uh, one half the stroke is longer than the other, but it, it still works out. But going North is just slower for some strange freaking reason. Hmm. So in theory, a train unloading station, if completely, if the boxes were completely full, and no more ore was added to them, the bottom half should finish before the top half, because they'd put more into the train faster. Yes, by like 5% or so. It's a pretty huge difference actually. That's really weird.
That's it, ZNF for science. Yes, please science that. I'd love to see the results. Okay, come on, pack straight. That's enough now. It's, t it's time to go. This, this outpost is dead. As soon as these trains are cleared, I'm going to knock it off the schedule. I don't see the pack trains yet, so. No, if I zoom out, I should be able to see it. Oh dear. Okay, well, there's Lane Switch. A train coming in had ore. What? Yeah, what? yeah. Something went horribly wrong with their scheduling, I think. They've all decided to come here. Oh wait, that's a bad idea. He can't go to unload yet. This might take a while. Yeah, it's right, there's a lane switcher up ahead. I can get the train there. Different strokes for different folks, I guess. You know what I noticed about this stretch on mainline? Running down it takes forever. It's almost like it hasn't been concreted yet. I'm going to blame the fact that you probably have the wrong suit of armor on, maybe? No, nope, I haven't done a bite of killing for hours. No, nope, it's good. It's just not a concrete mainline and 23 UPS. Twenty-three, that's impressive. That's like lower than mine. Oh no, production's... Yeah. Production's not even that high, really. That's confusing. What What's going on over here? Mm. Oh, uh, but are you still there? Yep. Um, are you still in my map? Or do you still have it? Yeah, yeah. do you still have it? Yeah, it's open still. Um, on a fresh like load without all the other stuff command deleted would you mind taking down the Hall of Fame however you think is quickest put maybe a command to remove the co uh, combinators Yeah, let me blueprint it. Go ahead. Uh, to see if it's cost or what type of combinator it is that is the highest count. If you just remove the one with the highest count, they're all shut down. But don't they aren't they all running constantly? You've placed. Dang, Psycho Killer! You don't even know what the Hall of Fame is. How long has it been since you've been here? <laughs> oh. A I guess we better go to the Hall of Fame. Indeed. Uh, and I need a post-it note. I need to send a trash train to Iron South 2. But I don't think I have a spare. Actually, I might you know, check the train listings. Uh, Megabase trash. Megabase trash. Sorry, rubbish. That's a random ass place to put a pack string. I'm just saying. Hmm. This train hasn't been restarted. Uh, what did I say? Iron South 2, wasn't it? Iron South 2. 
Mega base iron unload. Fifteen seconds on each. I just have two. Even last oh, year, with the whole thing was up. Like, how long has it been? Yeah, I mean, with the um, the old one, wasn't it? The belt one, Mark One, version one. I can tell you actually. Hold, please hold. It was like four months ago, if I remember correctly. Let me Twitch alerts this. When did I put the first Hall of Fame in? It was about a, on my fourth donation, I think. When I had four names. Let me check Twitch alerts. I can tell you the date. Ish. Uh, you know, there's been 104 donations. Totaling 2,162 pounds before PayPal fees. Uh, so first up was Spam Sack, then Van, then Vulcan, then Cola Drinker. Uh, K donated when he went to the top of the board, if you remember, with his 50. That was done yeah. on the 9th of September. Oh well, since 0 0.11? That's a huge freaking change. That was but, the great belt tear of 0 0.12 and the redesign of all the belts. More than a hundred lines, don't you, Will? Not a power plant. Oh, I assume he means a power plant B, which is the one we're looking to retrofit, as that's the one that's active. A and C can be done in their own good time into whatever design we come up with, because they're not actually needed at the moment. You'd have to tear up the entire power plant and, and rebuild it, though, since yeah, it's a two space difference instead of one for the belt for uh, the wagons and that doesn't seem like very much fun no and the trouble is I'm very limited on um, uh, height the design can't get much wider maybe a tile Goodbye, Demon. I heard you leave. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, bye, Demon. Yeah, but I'd appreciate it if you can if you could remove the Hall of Fame, but nothing else, and see what that does for you. That rule out the Hall of Fame. I thought it was split pretty evenly between belts, inserters, combinators, combinators yeah. and splitters. Yes, that's what Hansi Q said. And I'm curious to see what actual UPS number combinators has. Because if it's pretty massive, then we may have to look at the Hall of Fame again. Because I know that this decoder thing is essentially optional to get the uh, scrolling effect that we like if depending on the UPS if it's like 2 UPS then it doesn't matter if it's you know 10 15 UPS then we're going to have to redesign I'm guessing about 10 UPS but the uh the fact that splitters are such a huge deal you might have to get rid of some of those balancers and rely on some type of intrinsic balancing. Yeah, I could probably get rid of a lot of the smaller rebalancers to be fair throughout the base. That was probably, I know the big splitters, ha the big rebalancers have a lot of splitters, but there's only, what, four of them? I'm sure all the little rebalances throughout the base, the probably that are not all necessary, add up quite a bit as well. 
Yeah, normally I'd say get rid of the small balancers. I really dislike those, actually. Yeah. If we walk through the base, just yell when you see one, and we'll see if we can just knock it out of the system. Let's take a walk around. I'm sure uh, Psycho Killer hasn't seen it, so... I mean, I mean, Hopefully you can catch something 20 seconds behind, because that's my uh, view lag. Okay. The 16 lane balancer has 34 splitters. An 82 underground bout, but 80 underground bout is a good thing, so. Uh, we balance, we balance, we balance, uh. Trouble is, the two from fours on the belt designs have quite a lot. And they have one, two, three, four, five on a two from four. A one from two has three. Loop, Psycho Killer said loop. We don't, there's no loops here. Okay, thank you very much, Brit. That's what I expected, I guess. Cause, um, I don't think I can design a better extractor with fewer splitters. That's like the minimum number. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Guess I'm looking at it and I don't see any um you know, anything unnecessary. And that's Where does this even go? Hey, malaria on long time no see. Hey, Malarian. And hi. Oh, uh, Matt, changing subject a little bit. Did you um, happen to come across the trolling um, video? Of um, yes, I watched that definitely yeah, yeah. several times. <laughs> several times. <laughs> that that good, huh? <laughs> I was there for it, remember? I know, I know, but did you see the video as well? I know you were there, but... I think it's going to become my, um, I'm in a bad mood, I need to laugh at something video. I like how the cuts, like, two and a half minutes later, four and a half minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> need to design a better um, containment facility, I think. That one was sort of bodged and built on you an unknown. Make a blueprint for it. Yeah. <laughs> that one's kind of hard because you have to request enough items to completely fill a steel chest with whatever like has the smallest stack size. To the to the goals too. What has the smallest stack size? That's silos. Like, that a base is likely to have. <laughs> in like a five minute AFK. I'm thinking pistols would be yeah. the easiest one to do. That's what I'm th I was thinking. So one of the weapons that you could just handcraft pre handcraft. They've got a stack size of five, a machine gun stack size of one. Yeah. Thirty iron, five copper. 
you could handcraft a bunch of those over time, hide them in a chest somewhere in the base as soon as it's ready just turn that into a passive provider chest I'll try to find it Does anyone have does anyone have the link to it um, to I the can, uh, trolling video? I can get it it's on my history. Oh wait. I follow Raven on YouTube. I can just get it from there. Link incoming. We could do a, a nightbot command for that. Um, I don't know. And just say when, when engineers go bad or something, and then it links that video. So yeah, it seems machine guns seem to be the the winning candidate. Could the shotgun be it instead, or something else? Shotgun stacks in five. Every, nothing else stacks in one in the wep in the handheld weapons except submachine gun, which seems like an oversight to me. If the others, well, I reckon the others should all be one, but everything else is five. Armor's a uh, oh, basic modular armor is one, but that's a bit expensive. They're all. I got it. Blueprints. Or, oh, de yeah. or deconstruction planners. Only cost the red circuit is quick to craft. You could handcraft them while you're setting it up. Do it with deconstruction planners just for extra added troll because they're so useless. You know, a, at least a, a bunch of empty blueprints you could foreseeably actually use them. <laughs> right, yeah, the deconstruction planner would be better. Yeah, just because they'd be like, what am I going to do with all these deconstruction planners? That's that's the winner. Mm -hmm. Construction or deconstruction planners. Yeah. Only costs red, a red circuit. Quick to craft. Stack size of one. And how many layers thick would you need to make it around them? If they were trapped in one tile, at least two. Outside of that, they can just empty their inventory into the trash lots and mm. gradually eat their way through that thing. But I'm thinking if they can reach outside of the containment zone, they can put a chest down that they had on them, put uh, put stuff in that chest, pick up deconstruction planners from the box, move you know, eat their way out that way. So I guess it, the question is how far can you reach? So you can't reach outside. It's six. That's a lot. Yeah. So that's six by... Anyone want to do the maths? 48 red circuits per chest and after you've laid on the max after exploring the corners then go ahead and uh, count the chest with the blueprint yeah I'm not placing that many chests <laughs> it's it's gonna be a 7 by 7 block minus the one that the character's in 48 boxes it's a circle though it's not square Yeah, right, there's three missing from each corner. I need more chests. No, wait, there's two missing from each corner that I can't place. So take two, four, six, eight off. You 
You probably should do one from each corner, because it seems like a rather random reach bug. Back up. Place the last two. <laughs> I'm running into the corner. Right, let me move this experiment, because this is getting serious now. And let me get some more boxes on the way. That's 161 boxes. Seven thousand seven hundred twenty-eight uh, deconstruction planners were, would be required to fill it. We need to find a better way of doing this. Because that's too many red circuits to make. Uh, minus four, kitty three. Ah! So add winning prism. Mine. He's got it. Steel, uh, wooden boxes. Mad. Less than each chest. How many is it now? That wouldn't work. You could replace a wooden chest with a steel chest if you have one in your inventory. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he's got. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'd upgrade it. Yeah, he'd give you the workroom you needed, and everyone carries boxes on them. And the thing is, if you had a single wooden box in your inventory, or even like two chunks of wood, you could uh, build a wooden box, place down one wooden box on top of one of those full boxes, create a chest explosion. You then pick up the wood box and do it again. Yep. So no matter how you look at it, it's impossible to trap someone if you're smart enough to figure it out. Matt, I, I challenge you <laughs> to build the perfect trap <laughs> that, that cannot be escaped from. <laughs> I'll give you that it's not in RoboPort range because you'd rip up the RoboPort so you can't deconstruct your way out. Uh, Prism has a good point. You could, if you're just pissed off, shoot the boxes. So we need to put something in there that they won't shoot. <laughs> put, just put something expensive in each one. I'm not seeing a solution. Alright, we need a better plank. Well, we just run them over the train, it worked last time. Because no one's smart enough to run orthogonal to the train, they run away from it. Well, actually, she runs towards it for a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, she obviously went to the Prometheus school of running away from things. I love that meme. That's one of my favorite channels. <laughs> Scene doesn't contain the lap dance. Ding! Okay, and catch, we'll see you in a bit. That would be a good idea when in prison. Build the, uh, the containment center with the center being the spawn point, so if they die they spawn into it. So you prank them by running them over with a train or whatever. They think that's the end of it. <laughs> and there's a train that spawn? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly synced. So that if you kill them at X tick, ten seconds later they respawn a tick later, boom, the train goes over.
Your train that you used, you should have had it like four or five engines perfectly spaced so there's a very, very, very small gap. Oh, the, the, the loopy one. Yeah. I was thinking one, lo one loco for maximum speed, but yeah, you're four locos all going in the same direction. Yeah, that's essentially the same the max speed. Yeah, yeah, but there'd be less available time to get through before the start of the end of the last what loco and the start of the new one. Yeah. So we we were thinking of it literally on the fly and she could have been back any second. I didn't think she'd make it. Well, removing the combinators made the biggest difference. At least I didn't go down. <laughs> uh, yeah, what? it was about 10 ups, like I suppose. I, I yeah, I went really from good. 18 to almost 26. Was that all combinators, but or to a particular type? A particular type. Yeah, that was all combinators. Because I started removing them with my bots and got up to 23 and then Commander Keen had a command for it to remove all the rest of them and I ran that and it, it bumped me up two more. But see that's just weird is that I used the commands to remove belts and all the entities on them, and my FPS drops by 10. And then I remove the combinators and I gain mm -hmm. roughly 10. Would you mind I'm doing that? Do um, Go ahead. Yeah, I'm thinking that um, items on belts take up less processing power than items on the ground. Yeah. Which is probably why removing the belts is a bad thing. Yeah. But that's the thing is I removed all belts and the things on them at the same time. And it still dropped my FPS by 10. That makes no sense. You can't really just thwack it with a stick. You have to shoot it. Uh, thwacking with your melee weapon only works on enemies. Yeah, but I was going to say, do you mind like reloading the save so it's um, not messed with at all, and then just removing the combinators? Because I'm wondering if the if you remove the belts first, and that's lowered your FPS even more, the combinators being removed will give give you a rise, but you're rising from a lower number to begin with. Yeah, that's what you asked me to do, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I think that's... Okay, that's what you've done. I'm, just, I'm reloading it again. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Okay. So. Yeah, so you load the game up as I gave it to you, and then just remove all combinators. Yeah, so I just loaded the game, and it's at 20 FPS. So let me run that real quick. Hey, winning. Um, we tried that when we first deleted the belts and the stuff on it, and it didn't. It didn't make a difference. That one rocket, though. Hmm. Okay, so I went from twenty FPS to twenty-three and a half. By just removing the combinators, yeah? Yeah, by just removing the combinators. So that's only 3 FPS. Yeah, that's yes. a lot. To, I value the Hall of Fame at 3 UPS. That would put me at 24 now. Virtually no difference. The Hall of Fame's worth it, that. Well, it's been stated before that 
one or two or three or five or ten or twenty UPS isn't a very accurate description. It's a delta UPS you need to worry about. Yeah, all right, but being from get to get from twenty to twenty four isn't a big enough rise for me. If I was at thirty and it took me to sixty, then yeah, maybe. But getting me to 24, that's not enough. I need more than that. So there's no point removing the Hall of Fame. Like you said, we're removing those, redoing the power station belts. If it get me, if it got me to 22, it ain't worth it. It needs to get me higher. But I don't think there's a single one thing that's gonna do that because it's everything, each doing its own little bit. Which means I'd have to remove the belts, the Hall of Fame. I'd have nothing left. This really confuses me that your FPS and UPS are the same numbers. How does... How did you do that? It's the way it is. Mine are too. It, it always is. Except on Zenith. Oh, unless I mess with the game speed. If I... If I increase the game speed, then they change. I put the game speed to two, which is roots hack to get more UPS. The FPS will go to half the UPS. There we go. Yeah, on my computer, the graphics is like the major constraining. So it scales down to one half, then one third, then one quarter, as it's supposed to. And according to Friday Facts, as I've read, it. It absolutely is supposed to scale down to FPS yes. ratio to UPS depending on how low it goes. Yeah, game speed 2, I get 11, 22. I put it back to game speed 1. It go 22, 22. Like 21, 21. Oh my gosh, okay, so I was at 23 FPS, I removed 34,454 inserters, and I'm now up to 31 FPS. I told you, them inserters. I need less inserters. Wait, is that all the inserters, or is that a particular type? That must be all the inserters. Um, yeah, I think it's all. Yeah, 31 FPS, so it went up, like, 8. How many inserts I have on the network? So I'm thinking the super heavy uh, train build for coal, for the boilers, is a bad idea. Well, hey, Will, mm. I mean, on your, on your save that you sent me, it removed 34,454. Yeah, I see it in chat too. I'm just working at how many on the power network. I know it will be less. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm trying to work out how many burners are. There's an echo from somewhere, guys. Alright, have a good night, Psycho Killer. It's not my end, I'm pushed to talk. There's someone is, yeah, so I can too. hear myself for halfway through a sentence. That is 13,000 blue. Three for. Too tired for maths. 13 plus 3.4 plus 2.3. There's 18,000 inserts on the power network. 34,000 in existence. I'll keep insisting that a bot-based build with zero belts is the best way to go for reducing lag. Yep. Well, in that case, this save is done. I'll um, go and play a different game, I think. Because I'll be bored of it within two days. Nah, dude. Like, bot builds are harder than you think. But they're not fun. It's all about the logistics and the belts for me. Second to trains. Without the trains, I'm done oh. within an hour. 
Well, with trains, you can still do it with bots. It's just way more efficient. You can use smaller trains and less track and, you know, everything runs smoother. Yeah, but it's not fun because it's not cool. You and I seem to have very different definitions of fun and cool. Yeah, I guess I like to sit here and watch the belts fall. Bots whizzing across the screen is just, yeah, bots. I guess it, the belts got me hooked on the game. Simulator trains, you know. Yeah, but I can't even tell Twitch that I'm playing Simulator trains because it's never heard of it. Wait, that's a thing? It doesn't honestly know that game? No, I've streamed it a couple of times, but no one ever knew about it because I couldn't set Twitch to it. it if you type it into Twitch when you, you set your game, it? it's like, not a game. Don't, don't know what you're on about. Well, there's a way you can add that, so it would add it to the Twitch uh, database or whatever. Thanks, Mark Ernest. So proud of myself. I uh, definitely pointed out that we broke the streamer again. Well, you've done that several times before. Yeah. <laughs> I've been broken a couple of times as well. Bogerton got me the worst. Whatever happened? Dude, I miss him. Come back. Uh, according, he should be back soon. Apparently, he's taking a break. So I've heard from an indirect source. When in prison, if I go play multiplayer, you guys won't be able to watch. So you probably don't want to recommend that if you actually want to see a stream. Because if I go play multiplayer Literally. with the guys, there will be no Twitch. Yeah, the last time I heard from Bug, he was like, I'm totally going to make a video about your power system, your analog power system that I invented. Did you and break like, him? Yeah, I did. <laughs> he, he's looked at it and... And, um, yeah. He's, you just fried his brain, haven't you? Well, I spent a good amount of time explaining it to him. Explaining all the nuances, how it works why it's freaking awesome and he's like he was totally on he was like i oh i understand it let's do a video and then he disappeared he didn't understand it you broke him Hey, bad dog. Yeah, I've been okay today. Struggling with 20 UPS. You're really close to your spawn point, by the way, Will. Oh, yeah. Let me turn on Eva Gooey. Well, if you'll just go down to the batteries below you, the chemical plants, and go to the far right side, and then the second row of um, batteries, that's where you spawn. Usually it's in the middle of the set of small lakes that uh, the terrain generation makes. Right, I found the right uh, horizontal now to find the vertical. Yeah, it's in this. them small lakes. I'm gonna call ponds. Ponds, yeah, yeah. It's in this chemical plant. It's there by that power pole, I think. That's 
what I just said. Yeah, thanks for putting it in. Yep, I remember this. We built our first base here. Wait. It was uh, iron over there, I think. But uh, yep, this is a good secure area to build in to begin with. And we went exploring and we chose down here, which was a hell of a long way away back then. You know, I wish they did ore generation in spawn like they did water generation it's like a scaled down version of the rest of the map yeah that, with a small collection of lakes i wish they did that with ores yeah so you I can agree. set it to like super low density and still get ores in the starting place i mean there's a lot that could be done with the ge generation Yeah, new map generation needs a lot of help and love and care. Mm -hmm. There's a major copper shortage. Oh wait, it's not a copper plate as such, it's a uh, a throughput issue. We can't run uh cutting this belt down to two apparently was not a good move. Because a solid two lane belt cannot supply the copper wire industry. You might have to keep it up to four for longer. It was originally four. Yeah. I remember when he cut it down. Yeah. Because we ran it for a while on two. But I think it's bit where copper was short. It's um you had to play catch up and it can't catch up. Well I'm just gonna watch this belt for a bit. If it's catching up then I'll just leave it and it can it yeah, get there. I you could probably leave it to four up until the uh the the copper for the red. Red ammo, yeah. Yeah, it's not that much extra power, is it? Hang on, let's do it properly. We'll do it with underground. It's a very small change to make it from 2 to 4 with that design. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting the 4 in, I'm just underground belt in it. For reasons. Yeah, so get this. I, on the save where I removed all the combinators, mm -hmm. and um, I think there was something else, all the lamps, I was at, what did I say, like 20, 27, something like that. Now, I just put, um, and I and I ran the one that Commander Keen just gave me, it, re it removes all um, steam engines, boilers, and pipe 
to ground. And I went up to almost 50. I was like 47. So I gained like 20 FPS. Well, then, you know, I loaded a fresh save where I hadn't removed anything and removed all the steam engines, boilers, and pipe to ground, and I only gained like 5 FPS. <laughs> yeah, it, so it seems to be everything is doing its bit to get it down to 20. You remove one of those things, it makes such a small impact because you're so low to begin with. You've got to remove, like I say, everything. Or, you know, so much of it, there's actually no base left. Yeah, I wish so I was too drunk to explain Delta UPS over UPS uh, concept. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. They're running the same. As, as my FPS changes, my UPS changes. So it's all the same numbers. So what I give you in FPS, it's the same in UPS. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm trying to say it's like, you know, 20% change versus 20 UPS change. Those two numbers could be vastly different. Yeah, and I get that, man. Ooh. Yeah, I do too. I get it. You're saying that the lower it is to begin with, the harder it is to get it back up. Because you're down at the bottom. I don't, I don't know the words for it, but I get what you're saying. If you were, if you do the same change and you was at 20 to begin with and you go to 30... No, that's a bad example. If you're at 20 and you go to 22... But you make the same change, but you started at 40, you could quite possibly go to 60. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But it all depends where you start from. So what we're trying to do yeah, is get... Sense. What we need to do is keep... Uh, we're looking for something that goes from the 20 baseline that we're working with to as high as possible in one jump. So we can measure it from the 22 baseline as our start point. So if Brit does a thing and she goes from 22 to 26, that's only 4. If she go, does something different and she goes from 22 to 50, that's a hell of an increase. Much better than whatever the thing before well, it was. So, so, so far, the insert has so by far, far win. Um, well, I think I did inserters after combinators. So I'd have to do inserters on a fresh save to see. Yeah, do you mind? And then Sure. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, the math works out to something like uh, 1 divided by initial minus 1 divided by final and you multiply that by a thousand for the milliseconds difference for the change and you compare those for you know ultimate tick time change difference Yes, what what we really need is to know which particular item is the worst offending and then drill down on that item. If it's belts, we underground and belt the world. If it's inserts, we go on a massive insert purge. I'd be quite happy to rip up the inserters at the power plants that are not being used if they're potentially causing lag. Because I can just put them back down if we ever needed them again. But again, I thought it was equal uh, time divide between inserters, belts, uh, splitters, and I don't remember the fourth. Splitters, combinators, belts, splitters, combinators, and inserters. Yeah, combinators is the fourth. Okay, just removing inserters with nothing else removed, um, I went from 20 to 25. 
Yeah, so they're all from the 20 baseline, they're all in the fives. But you, yeah. if you do a second one of any of them, you go right back up again to a decent number, yeah? You're hitting yeah, 50. The number to keep in track is uh, that's 20% improvement, I mm -hmm. guess. Yeah, I get you. So if you're at 20 and you go to 24 or something, then that's 20% from the, what you were at. So if you was at 40, you'd get 20% and you'd go to uh, 48. Yep. And then you do another one that gives you 20%. From, and you'd go from 48 up to, uh, you'd gain another 10 or so, so you'd be at 50. Eventually I'll teach you all you guys, you know, calculus, but eventually. Well, we're not going anywhere. I'm either not quite drunk enough or too drunk for this shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> now the problem is, in the real world, I can't just run a command and remove every insert without the base not doing much. So it's how to get some improvement without destroying the fun for me in the game, because otherwise I'm not going to be here. Alright, so I removed all inserters, combinators, and like all the power plants basically because I removed the boilers, pipes, and that. And I'm all the way up to like 44 FPS, which I've never gotten in your base ever. <laughs> yeah, those flow calculations are bad. The trouble is, removing pipes also removes power, which means everything else goes to sleep, so it's. Well, the base is already off anyway, so that's not really a thing. Well, if you use solar, I'm just saying. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Again, fun. You move the challenge of, and the, you know, the danger of running out of coal. So you think acquiring coal is less challenging than? acquiring space for a solar field. No, I think if you need more space you can just go and get more space. If you run out of power from solar you just wait a few minutes and it'll be morning again. You run out of coal you're in serious shit and you're gonna have to sort that out. Yeah, until your lasers fail to repel the attack during that night and your base gets overrun. Well, you need to be more proactive with your biter killing. Then it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I seriously don't get the cold challenge. I I wish I could, but I I just don't. I like to think of Factorio as industry industrial revolution age. I know there's power armor mark two and all that shit, but And that makes me incredibly sad that the Industrial Revolution wasn't surpassed by the Nuclear Revolution. That shit died, and that makes me incredibly sad. <laughs> hey there, Hickers. Yeah, we skipped right past the Nuclear Age into the Information Age, and I'm missing the Nuclear Age.
Oh, um, Zenith, did you get a reply from um, Kavarx regarding your save at all? Do you know about that? Do you, Mad? and Brit? About what? Uh, Kavarx asked uh, Zenith for a save as laggy as he could possibly get it, so he spent a week. Killing oh, yeah, his vanilla that. save, he got it down to nine UPS. I no. definitely remember that. Yes. No reply. Mm. <laughs> Mad, you see what Russ Bunny says? If you're missing the nuclear age, play more Fallout. Yeah, I love Fallout, and that's a little different than what I imagined. <laughs> well, that's how the nuclear age could have gone, right? Yeah, it could have gone that way. If people had not, you know, paid attention in class. I keep thinking if they had discovered thorium as a viable energy source instead of fighting wars for oil, Fallout would have gone completely differently. Alright, as I actually need to do something, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go tear down the burner inserters at Power Plant A. Because I haven't used Power Plant A in a long time. And it will be the last one I activate anyway, if I had to turn them all on in sequence. Because I shut if I had to do if I needed more power than B could provide, I'd shut B down and run C. If C wasn't enough, I'd probably fire B back up again. If them two together weren't enough, I'd then add A. So I don't see me needing A in a very long time. I'm pretty freaking sure I could surpass your uh, your build there for smelting with bots and beacons and have less energy per uh, item produced. And a third less inserts. And that's the most important part. Yeah, Marcus. What um, I'm curious because you're running. He's my other. He's no uh, no solar challenge as well. I'm curious. What UPS are you getting on your world? You're running two and a half thousand boilers. A tree command. So you got to be moving all the trees, but <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're at twenty-two-ish UPS, and game update was forty. Trouble is, when you're at these small numbers, it's so difficult to measure a change because it fluctuates. Yeah, fish. Do I have fish lag? <laughs> they're they're, they're um, moving entities, aren't they? Yes, yes they are, and they're active in polluted chunks. So, and concrete I... bad, yo. Fish don't respawn either, do they? So if we nuke the fish, then that's the end of the fish. I'll be... They do respawn, though. Do they? Huh. 
I should clear out a lake, be 100% sure there's no fish in them, and see if they come back. I'm pretty sure you've already done that several times in the past with your fish challenge. Ooh, fish challenge. Hey, Zero Vapor. Well, I think Commander Keen officially broke my Factorio game. What did, what did he ask you to do? Well, I, I did all of it together. Like, I did the combinators, the inserters, the power plant stuff, and the trees. And I did all that, and it was fine. But now it won't save. Like, it's just sitting there saying, saving map, but there's no green progress bar. And I'm just like, uh-oh. <laughs> Thanks, Commander King. It's oh, there it goes. To compile. Yeah, there it goes. It, it just, it just did its thing. Yeah. Britt, you need to invest in some headphones. Well, we have headphones. They're just really big and heavy, so I choose not to wear them. Sorry. As Jeremy said, they're man phones. <laughs> yeah, anti elites. I'm not really sure if that'll work. I'm I'm very skeptical. Oh yeah, I just <laughs> Okay guys, um I'm at twenty four. And I'm gaining coal quite heavily. Yeah, sorry, I'm not going to test anything right now. Sorry. Damn it. Okay, I'm loading the mega base from a fresh save. I'm going to try the tree things, and then I got to go. Okay. Yeah, you definitely forgot a row of uh, burners up there. And there's up to five coal per burner sort of picking up. Yeah. So I'm just burning that off. Yep. Question. How can a burner insert pick up five coal? I'm thinking boilers. It should only have one coal each, but... Well, as they picked up from a belt, I think they should. I didn't know stack size applied to belt. Yeah, you're right. It shouldn't. <laughs> I'm just picking up a lot of burner inserts and I'm getting a chunk of coal each time, I think. Right, did I miss any... We're good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck these in a box at the top. So if we need to put them back down, we can. There's some concrete that's come from there, and I've missed an insert uh, there. There. Single one there. Alright, okay, because I missed one, so let's go one more time. 
That seems like 15 boilers. What? 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 14, man. 14. What? Yeah, 15 boilers. I can't imagine that being efficient. Oh, on design. So I thought. Oh, sorry, yes. I thought you were talking about my power plant. I was gonna wait. What? Has it been wrong this whole time? <laughs> no, the link. Delete sent. Sorry, I missed a lot of chat. Yeah, either 14 or 17 is, I thought, was optimal. I think even if 15 was proved to be better, we're just going to have to run with 14. We've drummed it into people too much to change it now. Well, never have I ever said that the traditional way of doing things is the best way. Like, never. Agreed, but I don't think we can change the entire community. Now it's too late. <laughs> We're just going to have to go with... Well, if the entire community is wrong, mm -hmm. Then the entire community is wrong. That's all there is to it. And screw the community. I'm a little unorthodox when it comes to this sort of thing. I value truth over a uh, social thing. There's something wrong with this junction. This is the second time I've been trapped in here. Last time I just drove out by hand because I was in a rush to get somewhere, but... Ah, there is. Stop the train. Stop the train. Stop the train. Stop the train. Oh, I was hoping the tree command on its own would get me to 60-60, it would give me the perfect thing to go on a 24 hour killing tree spree. I'll just remove every tree in existence and then burn a lot of it. Uh, yeah, until it's the uh, 1410 setup is pretty standard and that's usually what we recommend people do for beginners. Yes, yeah, Sergeant Cookie, these are yellow belts. They have to be yellow belts, otherwise it won't work. Yeah, the inserters fail to pick up. Yep, uh, and then they the run out of... The inserters can't pick up from faster than yellow. Yep. They miss it, and each time they reach for it, they use a little bit of their power, they run out because they can't pick one up, and that burner inserter ceases to work. The process is repeated, and before long your power plant shuts down. And that's tragic. I hate when that happens. Yeah. Caught me out twice, I think. Started off with just a few inserters, and I was like, this is random. Refilled them, got them going again, and then it continued to happen. Then we had to go on the great belt switchover. If I recall... Well, this is a good point. Removing mm -hmm. trees is inherently a bad thing. Yeah. 
It's kind of like placing concrete, right? Same, same reason. Yeah, concrete is inherently bad for the same reason. I wouldn't say wrong, Leeds. I'm just not certain what you're going with it. Alright, hey guys, I'm gonna call it a night, alright? Yeah, okay, but thanks for hanging out and really appreciate you running all those tests for us. Yeah, you're welcome. Good night then. Good night, have a good evening. Good night. Bye, Bye guys. Right, I'm gonna uh, remove the inserters at power plant C and then call it a night myself. It's difficult to tell if it had an effect, but I am seeing 24s and 25s on the FPS now. Instead of 22s, I guess? Yeah, although I'm back to 22 now, but then it goes back to 25 again. So I'm thinking 25 is the base and then something bad happens somewhere, and it takes it back down to 22 again. But removing this lot as well will... Um, or should give us uh, an idea. And I can't think if this place has ever. Ah, oh, that's where I'm picking up coal from. Of course, the I'm getting coal from the burner inserts because they have one in them for themselves. Possibly trade pathing agglomeration errors. That's it, Britt Reed leading. Good night. Good night, Britt. What was that one? Uh, leading channel? Oh, it's just me and you now. Demon's gone as well. Guess you're up then, lad. Bullshit. I'm like nine beers down, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, you came into the channel. Granted, it's your own damn channel, but we were using it, goddammit. Yeah, I kind of just invited myself. I hope you don't mind. No, it's okay. Get yeah, in, Say hello, everybody. This is where the filtered deconstruction planner would be very useful. It'd also be useful if you didn't place concrete under all the boilers and steam engines because you're never going to run there. Yeah, but for concrete in one thing, we might as well concrete it all. Now, I, I want to fill the deconstruction plan in this case because I could just run up the entire thing over the boilers and the belt. I thought there was a mod for that. Isn't there a mod for that? I don't. A filter deconstruction plan? I don't think so. There should be. I probably wouldn't use it because it would be another mod that I'd uh, you know, have to carry along with me. And to be honest, and I probably wouldn't update and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, I'm, to be honest, I'm thinking of going for a mod review. I'm thinking of dropping rail tanker instead of carrying that along all the time. I don't use it, and I'm not going to use it, especially with the great oil review. Um, it's going to be barrel-based outposts, so 
<laughs> uh, never invite me into a multiplayer game because I'm pretty sure the first thing I do is go to your great buffer storage system and replace everything with wooden boxes. <laughs> That would great, like, the chest explosion of 2016. I need to see this. I really do. Oh, chat to me. Sorry. Uh, what's going on? Uh, to a quick question. If you could redo your train size, what would you go with? Sorry. Uh, yeah, probably 383 if I was to do it again. Although I have no plans at the moment to go beyond 262 because the rail yard is already getting uh, <coughs> congested and adding of course you know one two ones are superior right right all of cool mad all of cool yeah but when rule of cool battles rule of efficiency I'm gonna say efficiency wins Wouldn't you have to have more of the one two ones? Which means more trains on the line. Which means that that five lag on the trains would slowly but surely increase. Yeah, but you decrease it from like eight lane uh, main lines to two lane main lines, and that kills the pathing. Rule of core is greater than rule of efficiency. Go on to Sergeant Cookie. I love you, chat, but I kindly disagree. <laughs> because if you used a bot based build, you'd have fewer lanes of traffic, so less pathfinding on complexity. And a one to one train can actually unload as much as a one uh two six two train and do it faster. You'd liter sorry, literally have the same number of one to one trains as two six two trains and had the same throughput and fewer tracks to path on. But I'd get bored. We, I think, I know we think of FPS as a resource, but lately, my enthusiasm is a resource. Because I don't want to burn out on this game. And if it's not fun, it's about the only yeah, thing I've got don't. left. Fun is about the only thing I've got left. You take the fun away and, and I'm done here. And I'm having more I fun at... You that. I'm having more fun at 20 FPS than I would be at 60 with nothing cool about the base. Just another bot base that there's, I see tons of around at the moment. Tons of? Who builds bot bases besides me and Zeta? Demon. That's three out of thousands of people, Will. Seriously. No, no, no. Uh, every, every, like no, everyone's, no, everyone's going bot. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's belt based early game because you have no choice, but it's all. Let's build this. Even my game with. Um, uh, Demon and Raven. We're moving plastics and batteries by bot, and I'd consider them a belt based item. For Blue Science. It's you know, red circuits are bot based. The whole thing's heading that way. It's just an okay. Outside of us, five percent of uh, factorio engineers that use bots. The only people that use bots are Bob's mods guys, <laughs> and they have hacked bots. Bob's mods don't count for anything because they're Bob's mods. 
They, they're playing. They're not playing for toy. Well, then there you go. A very, very, very small minority of factory players use bot-only builds. I love this power plant. Tragic for the uh, consider lag. That's just tragic. Yeah, if this has an effect though, and it's because the inserters aren't going to sleep because they're burner inserters, we can rec modify power plant B to run on. Um, electric ones, give it an electric network and run it off its own power plant and the little power plant runs on burners is there enough room for that? I don't I guess there is because I see two gap there, you could put yeah you could run power poles down that keep it separate from the power poles of the will. substations true will the substation in the middle fit? Uh, what's, what, I can't remember the width of a substation. Uh, it's coverage. I'm trying to think if I do it with one. Okay, Modlin. The fact that uh, Bob's is a furry has nothing to do with the fact that I think he's an idiot. I've never spoke to the guy, but uh, if his work's, uh, if we're going on his work, then yeah, he's an idiot. Coverage is 16 by 16, cool, so that would, one substation in the middle would, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd be happy to, to science it, but not tonight. Need to start. Oh, I just saw a 25 on the old UPS. Getting 24s, 25s now. We're about two thirds of the way through this power plant. Okay, Madeline. I uh, I don't understand the furry scene, but I don't hate it, like I do others. So no, not even a little. Um, which insert is the better? Thirteen. Yeah, you seem to be full in inventory space, so you should probably do something about that. Yeah, <laughs> already done. I uh, I threw some inserters overboard. Uh, Russ Bunny. Technically, all bronies are furries. I'm just saying. You guys are speaking another language to me. Maybe it's an American thing? For the bronies? I, I don't know. Bronies? No, no, I don't know that word. Uh, men between the age of 16 and 25 that love a TV show made for eight-year-old girls called My Little Pony. I know of My Little Pony, 
but I did not aware <laughs> I was not aware that there were guys that like that show. It is disturbingly large. I okay, I have to ask what's wrong with your country? <laughs> Don't ask what's wrong with the country, ask what's wrong with the internet because rule 34 exists. That's that's beyond disturbing. It's, ugh. Yeah, it, that's really freaky strange that most bronies claim to not be furries, but technically they are. And like I've said before, I just don't understand it. I don't hate it. I just don't get it because I'm not in it. And if you want to go into Rule 34, like, Pokemon wins that battle, hands down. I saw it, Pokemon. Only at the first 150, though. You're up to 24, UPS. I guess that's an improvement. Yeah, from 22. Doing the whole... Whatever it was you call it, Delta something or another. And this is real world as well. This is not running a command to, to get it. If I knew how to internet better, I'd say uh, I'd link the video for the internet for porn. It's a funny skit, you should totally watch it. The end is in sight. I see the end of the power plant. Who built this thing? You did. Why didn't anyone stop me? Which pump? Yeah. Well... I helped build it, actually. I'm sorry. Yes, you... <laughs> you, you designed the rebalancer. You designed the ratio. Question. Water in pipe that isn't moving at either end. A problem or not a problem? I'm going to say not a problem. Should just sit idle, you reckon? Random guesstimate. Wouldn't be flowing back and forwards on itself. Like it has momentum going forwards, it hits the end, swashes back on itself, goes back to the beginning. And endlessly cycles yeah, forwards no and backwards. Yeah, there's no calculation done if it's completely full. If none of the numbers change, there's no calculations done. Okay, I'll check that the pipe isn't moving. Because if this is a mothballed power plant, 9.5. Any twitch in this water, and it means it's moving. Nah, still 9.5. Let's check another one. 9.8. Not moving. And you can completely fix that by removing all of the offshore pumps. That's why I was asking. If there's, if you were saying it's moving, I'll just go along and take all the the pumps off, and I could put them back in if we needed to activate them. Yeah, they drain empty pretty quick. The trouble is the power plant isn't on though. So the, oh yeah, yeah, because the steam engines would consume the water. Uh, 
Uh, water or tanks is not allowed. I'm sorry. Nope. Less for measuring purposes, right? <laughs> like, smart circuit in it. But then you'd never need water on a smart circuit. But... Yeah. Oil exactly. products. Oil products, one tank for circuit network, innit? Missing a row. Well, I've just found a row. Is that the one you were referring to? Due to lag, I can't see you, but probably yeah. I've got. I've only got one piece of concrete on me, which leads me to believe I'm not. I've not picked up an entire row of concrete. I want to find that box to insert as I threw overboard. The tragic 20 second lag though, KD3 might be completely right and I wouldn't know. Yeah, because he's probably seen it typed before you see it. Because that happens to me a lot in other streams. Right? I can't find that box of inserts. Let's leave them there. Right, they're at the power plant if we ever need them. Guys, you got to remember, if we ever activate that in like a thousand hours or whatever. Now, everything else here should be, let me just go check, completely off and dead. Even its own mini power plant has run out. Hopefully, before a thousand hours is up, I've convinced you to switch to solar. Or a thousand hours, or another thousand hours. Another. Okay, I was going to say, because you ain't going to do it in 145 hours. By 2000, you, I'll, I'll give you to 2000. There's your challenge. Then. It's just intrinsically better and it's actually more fun. I'm sorry. This power plant to me is more fun than a field of solar panels that just sits there and does nothing. Well you know, once it's built. Imagine can imagine converting the solar panel sorry. Imagine converting this power plant to a backup only power plant. But you're not going to need that because you. Analog system for it. But then the power plant's still there. Well, yeah, but it doesn't get used unless it's needed. It's not used now, it's just sitting here. It's never been used, I don't think. Actually, yeah, it has. They've, they've all been on at one stage until I shut two of them down. Well then, get rid of it. I just and did. Kill all the concrete. I'm oh, picking up all the concrete. <laughs> Pick up every fucking thing. God damn it. <laughs> Show time used. Any improvement? None. Still at 40. Detailed info. Well, the insert is a. Ah, there we go. That's a bit of progress. Insert is sleeping 24,000 out of 30,000. That's only 600. Or, sorry. 6,000. 6, yeah. Well, yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? That's. Because we were at 30... How many inserters did I just remove? We have to Good do math for you. See you later, Rust. Mad, we have to do maths again. How many inserters did we just take up? Ah! 
I have no freaking idea. Uh, yes, Commander Keen. I think we—I done that with zero vapor. Um, we also removed pollution and stuff like that. No effect. Well, less than one UPS because nothing was visible. You are back to twenty-four now. So it's clicking around that takes it back to 22 but whenever whatever that is is not doing its thing we're at 24 uh, if anyone in chat wants to do the maths there's 700 steam engines at A on the 11410 setup and there's 1950 steam engines at the at C on the 13 1713 so feel free to maths have fun I'm feeling it's about 3000 inserts so I'm pretty sure that it used to be 33,000 on the detailed info and now it's telling me it's 30,000 and 25,000 of them are sleeping which is not bad. The only question is, how do we get that down even more? Uh, smart trains and that are doing virtually nothing, as far as I can tell, in terms of lag, based on the uh, buttons. Show time used. Uh, fat controller, a uh, smart train's 0.6. Fat controller 0.7, so what one and a half or so between them. Fat controllers dro drop down a bit, but yes, that is causing a little bit of lag, I guess. But the real time it saves by not having to round up every train. Didn't Brit say it removed 35,000? Or did I just round that to 35,000? I'm glad, did you hear great oil review on Wednesday? Fall asleep. I think we lost Mad. See there's any rockets and I think I'll call it a night because it's an hour past when I was going to stream. I'm sorry to say goodbye in this manner, but an ex-roommate of mine just invited me to a rave, which I evidently must go to. Yes, you must. Go. I'm literally going to go check silos, launch rockets, and then done. So, enjoy your party, man. I, I will try. She's, uh... Rather persistent that I go with her, and that's okay with me. Yeah, we shall not argue. I'll uh, I'll catch you tomorrow <laughs> if you're home. If we don't hear from you, we assume it we, went well. Yeah, I'll be home tomorrow. Um, good night, everyone. Good night, man. For uh, putting up with my bullshit. No problem. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good time, mate. Hi right, guys, we're going to end today on 8 rocket launches.
I'll tell you what I'll do guys tomorrow I will do a base shutdown again with those inserters removed we'll see what we get when the base is shut down and trains are stopped because we were getting a solid 40 so if you recall we were at solid 40 so now we're just about 24 from 22 but with the base shut down we'll see what we get Alright guys, you know, I'll leave you with this. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, hope you've enjoyed. Appreciate you showing up, especially as it's not my normal streaming day. I'll catch you tomorrow, probably take over from anti-elites if I don't fall asleep like last week. And uh, yeah, have a good weekend.